Mindy McFall here, and today we're going to demonstrate the shield press, and then as a variation, you can add a push press to that. So with the shield press, you can use um, either a weight plate, or another simple tool is just using a sand belt. So what you're going to do is start with your feet right underneath your hips. I'm going to grab the sand belt into what I call a crush grip. With a crush grip, we're contracting our um, chest muscles here, so the pecs, and it's almost as if we're trying to crush that sand bell into little tiny pieces. So we're gonna start with our crush grip here, and then I'm gonna simply just press out, and then back in. So I'm using kind of an isometric here, and then also using a pressing motion, this is going to warm up my chest and my shoulders. To add a push press, all you're going to do is, after you get into your crush grip and press, you're going to just turn that sand bell inwards, dip drive with the knees, press up biceps to ears. So all together it looks like this, crush grip to press, dip, drive it up. Crush grip and press, dip, drive it up. Now, if you're doing this for a long period of time, it can get pretty taxing. So what you can do is encourage your clients, or if you're doing this exercise, to give yourself a set number of reps, whether it's six to eight reps, take a break, and then go again for whatever um, time interval you've set for yourself. So that is the shield press with the push press variation. Thanks for watching.